Hey, you doing YouTube? It's Jerry here. Uh, I just have a couple more things about this uh, Wi-Fi extender uh, for Verizon Fios Quantum uh, that actually interacts with the actual media servers and the uh, wireless gateway that's upstairs. Uh, this right here. <clears throat> we moved into this house that has thicker walls. And um, the actual Wi-Fi is in the back room upstairs. And uh, being that this house has thicker walls and ceilings and stuff in it. This house is 115 years old. And uh, back then they, uh, they made them with thicker walls and a lot better build. But uh, the Wi-Fi wi service was not making it from the back room quite down to the living room. And uh, it was only giving me about one bar, maybe two bars. And um, it was causing the internet to be real sluggish on the Wi-Fi side. So um, what I did, I went ahead and went on the Verizon website. I ordered this uh, Verizon box. It's a WCB three was it 3000N uh, Wi-Fi extender, and it actually works real good. Um, it is a coax connected box uh, to the FiOS service. So uh, it doesn't really matter where you put it. You can put it outside in your garage and it'll still work as long as you have the Fios uh, cable running out there. And uh, it's actually fairly simple. Uh, once you order it and receive it at your house, all you do is unbox it. Take it. Uh, it walks you through steps of how to hook it up. You don't have to call them or get online or anything. Um, all you do is unbox it. It'll tell you to uh, hook up the coaxial cable to it so that it can receive the transmission from upstairs or wherever your wireless router is. Uh, hook up the power wire to it. Uh, leave it sit there for a minute powered on with the coax cable hooked up. Uh, wait for the coax light to come on and then you can actually start connecting your devices. Or actually, it'll actually just grab the signal and connect them for you. You don't have to do nothing. Although, uh, you can get into the settings for this router. All you do is find the actual web address. Uh, it'll be different from uh, 192.168.1.1. That is actually your main router that uh, is giving your internet service to you. You would have to get into the settings and find, uh, through your uh, main router, you'd have to get into the settings of that and find out where this router is connected to. It could be 192.168.1.154 or something like that. You just have to find that. Take that into your web browser and uh, enter admin for username and admin again for password. And it'll let you right in there to the settings for this uh, <clears throat> Wi-Fi extender. So, uh, yeah, that's basically it for the Wi-Fi extender. Thank you and have a nice day.